Thanks to EA and the EA Creator Network for uh, giving me access to Madden 23. And uh, we are going to jump in and play some games. Here we go. Right. Franchise. I have already played one game with the Vikings. But uh, we can jump into our second preseason game here now. Can I get things sorted out? Okay. So, upgrade players. Uh, upgrade all players. We'll do this manually. I'm just here to uh, play the game. Uh, full game. It's not actually like a full 60 minutes, it's just six minutes a quarter. But the other one is just like the highlight. And we, we kind of want to play the whole game. And we've got a home game. Here we go. We can't. It's week two of the NFL preseason, where depth charts and playbooks will be put to the test. It's the 49ers and the Vikings, just ahead on EA Sports. EA Sports. And we find ourselves at the stadium that played host to Super Bowl 52, the wondrous U.S. Bank Stadium. San Francisco 60, 49ers? Yes, 49ers. Between the San Francisco 49ers and the Minnesota Vikings. I like the Vikings logo. Brandon God and Charles Davis, happy to be back alongside you. And I'll tell you what, yes, it's just week two of the preseason, but now they've got one game under their belts and a lot of guys trying to prove some stuff down on the field here today. Not only that, oh, do we have a little bit of stuttering? Like we do. And I used to think it really didn't matter how to fix that. Then I watched some of those shows that the NFL does. That it? Wins and losses count no matter what time of year it is. That might be it now. Hopefully. Alright, what are we doing? Are we kicking off? We're kicking off. Down the middle. Greg Joseph now ready to get this one started <laughs> and we are underway. Alright. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Hey, Mr. Freddy. Nice things. Yeah, doing good, man. Doing good. Watch yourself. I know you're at work. It's Madden time. Right. What are we doing? We're going to cover. I need to go back to the first hook. Out. Donner. You got to go. <laughs> no worries, man. Yeah, enjoy your work, man. Enjoy your work. I'll see you tonight. For some F1. Oh, I, I forgot to look where I'm supposed to go. Oh, tackle. Oh, he's dropped the ball. Alright, let's try to get Lance. Oh, we're gonna turn around. Ooh, that's flex. It's a good catch for the turnover. Whee! Peterson. Time for the offensive. Kirk Cousins, star quarterback for the Vikings. Kirk Cousins is back for his 
Fifth year as Minnesota starter, tied for the longest streak of stability the team has had at quarterback since 1970s. Fran Tarkenton in the late 1970s. He's been excellent during that time, making a second right. bowl last season. We are going for the pass. And 33 touchdowns. And go. Vikings, though, still hovering right around 500 at the eight win mark. Hoping to see him lead a Oh, catch it. Oh, it's turned over. The interception. Ah, it was a good catch, though. As you well know, this is a guy that's used to taking a few chances, used to fitting it into tight windows. He step out over the line. I think he did. Didn't happen to get it completed in this case. Back out there comes. But we're back on the defensive. Offense ready for their second drive. Remember last time out, they threw the interception on their first drive. Good news, their defense backed him up. Flair Miles. Here as they begin their second possession. Yeah, one great way to judge a defense. How do they handle what we call sudden change when all of a sudden, you know, it goes against their offense? They got my bit penalty. And try to put out the fire. Give this one great kudos for getting out there, not letting that interception lead to points. Excellent job by them defensively. It looked like the defense, they were ready for that. No, I missed. I missed the tackle. Can't <laughs> flip past it. They will be. Oh, but. Do 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 do. Alright, what are we gonna do? Over three sky. Try again with Smith. Here's Lance to throw it. And that is incomplete. Here we go. We stopped him. Uh, third and eleven. Let's go for a blitz. Ballroom blitz. Turn left. Right, we stop them from making their ten yards. So, big catch, big catch. Here we go. Oh. We made a little bit of ground, not much. Um, together on this drive because remember last time out they threw the interception on the very first play and you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more for the pass they're playing awfully well and they're awfully confident right now to me it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back Let's try to get the 18 sure in doing so understand where you want to throw oh that's a big throw oh One more effort with the pass. We're going for 18 again. Oh, nice. Good catch. Jefferson. Back to first. Um, eighty-four. Play action now, Cousins. Catch it. Oh, man, it's caught inside the ten. Beautiful. Down he goes as they work it inside the ten to the seven. That would go for thirty-seven yards. Well, make that now two completions for him on this drive, and these aren't ordinary completions; they're big ones. Yeah, these are the types that make a secondary talk to each other and not in a good way. Oftentimes, what a catch! Fingers. Hey, who's got him? Someone cover it. That type of indecision can open up. Yeah, he's happy. Put 
how to run this. Uh, yeah. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. Okay. First and goal just Here we go. The five. They'll run with Cook. Made it. Cook. Uh, we're gonna kick. Greg Joseph on for the extra point. He's got it's good. Seven points up. Halfway through the first quarter. I'm gonna kick this too far. I need to stop kicking it all the way down. Because if they catch it here, then they get like the 20. Yeah. Fix the knee. Oh, he tried to run through the middle. Yeah, nicely played. Don't give them any ground. Ah, uh, before it's good. Uh, let's return right this time. Oof. Spot a move. Forgot about the whole, you know, moving the guy to go catch the ball. Oh, I made the 30 line. Let's go, Vikings. They've got a seven nothing lead in the football as well as they start out first and ten. Twenty five is just going to try and run as far as he can go. Triangle. Oh, we got sacked. The forty niners get there. Eric Armstead. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. In every game, we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Oh, make sure the quarterback and make sure you put too long. Should have just threw it. And they get their first sack of the contest. We can't throw it. We can't wait until he gets there. We have to throw it so that the ball gets there at the same time he gets there. I have to remember that. All right, we're we're gonna have to go for a pass again. Oh, all right. We're right, gonna have to go for a run then. Oh, didn't make it. Fourth down. Fourth 
I tried. On the big 91, Armstead. Going in. Whoa. Sit down, boy. Jordan Berry out to punt on fourth down. Berry. Oh. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35 yard. Tackle. He's like rugby sometimes. NCAA football game. Uh, apparently, it's coming next year. And it's going to be next gen only, or current gen, whatever you want to call it now. So, 2023. Yeah. Have a wee dance. Hunter. He's going nowhere. Two man cover. He's out. How to be out. You up there. You're not covering anything. And he's getting a workout here That's it. First quarter as he gets it away. Run. Taken in at the 11. Ah, we didn't get very far. Well, a little wee bit, but not too far. Should maybe move chat up at the top as well. Interesting. You. Yeah, it's terrible so slightly. There we go. See? I know what I'm doing. You can move there. There we go. We all fit in now. Let's go for the pass. Oh, we're running out of time. Real quick. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. Got it. Oh, I haven't a clue. Right? I haven't a clue. Um, my knowledge of the teams and everything is like super poor. Uh, I, I basically just know how to play the game. And uh, that's about it. Second quarter now from Minnesota. It's the Vikings in possession of the football. As they've got it with a first and ten. Well, we're going to take the Vikings to the Super Bowl in this. The reason why I chose the Vikings is uh, my mates from Minnesota. And I asked them, it's like, okay, who, who will then? Oh, I, I, I got to read the play. Kinlaw. Uh, let's try a pass. We're gonna, we have to go far. Right, we're gonna go with 18, okay? On second and 15 now. Cousins. Beautiful. And he's got this to Jefferson. Touchdown, Vikings. Justin Jefferson. That's how you play it. And the Vikings go up by two touchdowns. 
think there's anyone who could possibly doubt how fast he could run in the open field. But if there were, he silenced those thoughts. Good catch. On carrier speed. Blocking assignments, misdirections and stuff. They have these precise arrows and movements. Sometimes the best plays just come from the schoolyard where you look at your fastest guy and say, go along, go get it, big man. And if you're wondering how fast he was going, next gen stats clocked him at close to 21 miles an hour. Go 14 now. On the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to 7. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it was all capped off by Justin Jefferson's touchdown reception. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. There we go. That's perfect. Fielded just outside the goal line. Oh. And he's up past the I missed the initial tackle. The, the win for a player to go 60 mile an hour. I think we'll be waiting a long time. Unless we launch him out of something. Oh no. Gotta work on this defense. Defense. Also near impossible. Probably. I suspect their bones would break, or maybe their muscles would go first. The Tampa two. So quickly, all the way up at the forty-yard line. Now to throw. Sideline throw, it's oh, we caught it. He nice caught it. Toes inbounds. Coming up on a second and six. Up the middle, here's Mitchell. And he'll be stopped at the first uh, stop him. Gate of three. I do know from experience, right. he's still right. Someone's running game. We can't let them run it. Dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you get ready to tee off on the quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws. Nice. Well done. Catch from Bruce Jr. Interception. I think he was aiming there for uh, a fly. Minnesota Vikings. We'll go for a pass. Yeah, we've got running here. 25, 19. 19 might be a good shot. Yeah. Nice. Nice catch. Good run. Right. I, I need to know. These guys holding like the green shield thing. What is that for? How far are we? We're about 10 yards. Can we run it? We might be able to run it. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Cousins gives way to Cook. Oof. A nice display of powerful running. But it takes a little bit of run in there. Let's right try Cook again. Try Cook again. On the outside. There we go.
Well, I don't think that they're ready yet to say the route is the gap. Got the touchdown. One cook. Not attempt. Kick. 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 Kaboom. Joseph connects on the extra point, and it's now 21 to nothing. This is very one-sided. I really do think I need to turn up the difficulty. And it's capped off by the touchdown run coming from Dalvin Cook. Oh, I went too far again. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. This will be knee down. Yeah. No return here for Wilson. It's a touchback. It'll come out. Silly boy. I'm kicking it so far. Now for Trey Lance and the Niners. He's been picked off twice in this ball game already. And he'll try to sort things out here as they begin with the first down. Uh, let's try the blitz. I think I did catch it there, it was just didn't get it. big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Let him get over that 10 yard line. Very poor. Alright, let's return middle. To Osborne. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last. That's it. Nice. Wilson. I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. That's all we need. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. All right. Number 18. Number 18. Oh, we ran out. Yeah, that green thing. What is that green thing for? Another thing to do with sign, maybe? Thirty yards out. Well, twenty, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-seven. Uh, we're gonna have to go for the throw now. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Eighty-four. Get ready for this. Oh, we got sucked. Not good. 3.2 right seconds. Held on for he had to keep too long. And backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Now they're in some hot water now after that sack. All right, number four. 
Nice. That's how to uh, recover from getting sacked. Forty Niners aren't happy. Right. Flood the post. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Boom. Is that wide square? Yes. Jefferson. Catch. He was on point throwing the ball right there. He had the big play to get him down close, and then he delivers a touchdown pass on first and goal. And you mentioned the big play that got him down close. I think that big play left him reeling a little bit. They didn't recover from it. And you know, they always talk about having to have a short memory on defense after a big play against you. Looks like their memory was a little too long there. Very difficult to miss these. It's good. Get ready for the kickoff. We'll kick it so far this time. Just into the blue, the light blue. Yeah, that's perfect. The tackle. Let's go Vikings. Let's go. Alright, first and ten. Jordan Smith. Let's see if we can get past. Always fumbled it. Here we go. Well played. Third and fourth. Third and four, even. Half time. Well played, guys. Passing yards 224 yards. What? Just a minute. Week two of the preseason is upon us. Each team now with just one more game after this one, and then we will get it all started as we normally do on the first Thursday after Labor Day. Meanwhile, for the Vikings, they were much more successful throwing the football than their counterparts, as you can see the numbers there. These two right. coaching staffs are likely using this game as their dress rehearsal for the regular season. So some final adjustments being made. And for the call of the second half, we send it back out to Brandon. Defensive defend the short pass. That right, seems coach, to be what you. they're using Welcome the most. Back for quarter number three. Expect to see a good number of backups going forward as we are Let's catch it, catch it. He can't field it cleanly. Oh. It's loose. Oh, that was poor. The Vikings set to go on offense to begin the third quarter. And it's hard to imagine that the first half could have gone any better for them. So what's the approach here in the second half? Just continue to play smart football because they got the other team down and they feel like uh, What are we going to do? Yeah, going to go for the pass? Let's go for the pass. Attacking, but I think you also have to be smart about it. Avoid turnovers. That's 81. It's coming to you. Point. Attack, but make sure you take care of the ball. A nice looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete. And they work this well on field across the 35. A really good pick up. A little bit of taunting. If anyone thinks they're just going to tuck their horns in and pull back off the throttle a little bit, you can forget it. Even with this big third quarter lead, I think this team's going to continue to take shots down. I think we go pass again. Another completion. A big 
big hitter to start the drive has him up near very very field. short pass though here we go here's mine oh how do you fumble that to retain possession there and it's second down back to the air Mon. that's it oh that's gonna be knocked away and incomplete all right we need to run this coaching staff you can call just about whatever you want because you understand you have guys who reliably take away those massive shots downfield you're not as worried about giving up the big one yes we made it oh Oh, he did really well. Oh, no. Have we got an injury? No, I think it's the other team. Oh, no, we do. Ellison. Vikings deep cross. 17 going to make a long run right across. That's who we're looking for. Our one. Oh, we threw it way too early. Bruised shoulder. We'll return soon. Let's substitute him out. A17 gone again. There's also 81. Let's see, 81. Good catch. No. No. Not good at all. Here we go, square. You gotta catch that. We're going for the kick. There we go. We'll take our three points in anyway. Joseph now to kick this one away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Here's a look at the Brother Dine. offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. Right. Uh, one rubber press. And partner, you know, as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. Let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone over one hole. That being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. He takes this for three to the 29. Okay. A whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. Not to make two yards. Really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The first throw here for the backup Garoppolo. Oh, they made it. Oh, oh no, they didn't. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Oh, he did get it though because he did catch it ahead of it. Even though we drag him back over the line. It don't count, man. Look at down. They run once more with Sermon. And not much room to speak of. They'll get about 40 up to the 41. These guys have punted four, four yards out. Already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. To throw, it's Garoppolo. Throw it across his body, and it's intercepted. Oh, <laughs> I just sat there. Right. 
we did well there to overturn it. Come on to the air on first and ten. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Almost. He's corralled at the 40, but now before picking up eight. Two yards to make up. The quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. How about what he did after the catch? We run it. Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, no, let's go for the pass. Not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Throwing again on second down. Mon. That's all we need it. Just need to make up the grind. That was a wrap run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Oh, Thompson's out. My little pass here. Wide right 15. He's going to run down and then come back in. So. Mod looks to throw on first down. Easy. That's complete to Smith Marset. And taking it to the 15 yard line before he's brought down. Another good completion on the drive is the. He's still a Spider Man move. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. Spider Man. Spider Man. They've gotten their receivers open so far. It's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Alright, do we go for the pass? I think we go for the pass. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown. Oh, yes. KJ Osborne. Well done, Osborne. A beautiful catch. Oh yeah. There we go, 38, 4 touchdowns, and, I don't know what you call it, just a normal kick. Drop goal? How did it? That might be too far. No, it's fine. This one fielded at the five. And he won't get this to the 20 yard line as he's down at the 19. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable now. Old man, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start? And Johnson lost the football. Oh. He's poked out. And down inside the red zone at the 19 yard line. We actually got the. It overturned. Loose ball. Yeah, he dropped it when he gets hurt. Oh, team will not be happy with him. Big mistake. Kellen Mond again getting ready to quarterback his offense for this upcoming drive. And he had the touchdown on the last drive also, four for four. Very, very effective. Did he run it? Let's run it. Not think that what he saw in coverage is last. Let's go, Madison. He's got to play ahead and start and start thinking to himself, okay, we just did that. What are they going to take away now? What do we go to as a counter and continue to encourage his offensive line uh, and continue to give him time? They were really good on the last drive. Yeah, let's go with this. Oh, quarter end. Sports. On and EA Sports. Back to Minneapolis. And this is a um, blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one sided affair. From the 16, Mon. Throw left side complete. That's Osborne. Nice. KJ Osborne. It's good in Hanlon. 
six points to what's going to be a blowout victory. Well, the coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD. I think this is the type what's of strength? game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back to the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we haven't been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. Big kick. On the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just had on to that big lead. Pick off middle. I keep doing this. Kicking it too far. I just love to welly it. Yeah. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee and they'll start at the 25. He just stopped kicking it there. To take over on offense. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they have uh, been able to put the really cover full drop together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games and we've seen our share of lopsided <laughs> contests. <laughs> Sometimes I forget to change the character to the right one. <laughs> I even have nothing. Matt Jones. Through the gap. Through the gap. Oh, glad we missed. Jones the second. Return. Interception. Next. Yeah. Let's go, Mono. I'm gonna go for a run. Madison. Let's go. Ah. Broken ribs. Not be able to return for this game. Oh no. Made it. But not before they're inside the 25. 50 yards rushing for him now. He's only carried the ball four times. I know we're there of wide open football. Saw the gap, went for it. And then he got absolutely destroyed in the tackle. We just saw some of it right there. How about that? Yeah, breaking the tackle. And you know, late in this game, he wants the football in his hands. He's had a good day. Gonna run again. Let's go with single back. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Gonna run with Madison again. Good run. Tackle by Emmanuel Mosley. I think we can safely say that those types of players. Go for the pass. Touchdown pass. Let's go for it. Number 17 is gonna try. Can we get us to 17? By night. Now here's a little touch pass as they oh, tap it no. we pressed too many buttons and then we did something else. Catch it. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes in bounds. Oh, just now Greg Jones didn't make the two yards that we needed. Just 32 yards Ooh, we might not have hit that hard enough. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. It's good. Remember, not the whole way. Just enter the blue. So you can keep calling plays and try to add to this lead. 
Perfect. This will be fielded inside the five. And up to about the 26 yards. <laughs> Everyone dive in. Hold on. Jimmy Carlo Polo. Technically, he's completed four passes, two to his team and then two to the wrong team. It makes you wonder what he's seeing downfield because he has completed two passes to his own team, but the interceptions are troubling. Is he going through the wrong reads, the wrong progressions? Is he getting fooled by defenses? They've got to figure that out over the sidelines, working on that surface pro to see what they see. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Looking to throw Garoppolo. This is caught by Garoppolo. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Time to blitz. Everyone rush in. To gain the first here. Garoppolo looking to throw on third and two. Nice. And the going to be incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. That's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. And he'll go ahead and field this at the five. Ah. Uh, Nearly a huge return as it is. Still a very good one. Such a big gap there, too. And they will take over first and ten. And now out comes Minnesota. I'm just wondering, do they want to add on to this gigantic lead? My guess, given how they like to play um, in this offense, inside zone. Let's go. Let's go. By this margin, they probably want more. And if they do, go and get more. Oh, look out! At that point, we get it. Aim the camera we did. Post-game handshake, because that one might be a little bit on the tense side. The way that this one is. Two minute warning. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Another carry now for Madison. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 47. Okay, seven yards. 72 yards rushing for him now to this point. I know that every now and then we get into meetings with coaches and you almost want to roll your eyes when they talk about staying on schedule when they're moving the football. But would you say a seven yard run is ahead of schedule? Fourth quarter with the lead, you love that, don't you? No doubt. Madison's going to be tired after this one. Four downs on first down. They did that plus three. On second down, this is Madison. Ten I'll yards, blade. and it's good for a Viking first down. Got to go for the touchdown pass now, don't we? have to be satisfied with it throughout this game. They've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Yeah. Uh, we're going running again. Uh, inside zone. Right. They'll go Madison up the middle. And he's taken down inside. Well played. Back to back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. No it's good. The carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on right. the runners. We're running left this time, 66-17. Relying on you for defense. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the go, juke. Got it. Have a little dance. This thing is ugly. As that lead just swells and swells. Look, this has been dominance in all three phases offense, defense, and special teams. Madison with the plays. Just to what we've seen today, but the preparation in advance, coaching staff, commitment by the players to the game plan, and being ready to go in this one. You're exactly right. Clean sweep. And boy, they're going to celebrate this one after it's over. And on the other side, this is the game film you just flush and never go back and review. Joseph connects on the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. 
Big kick. And a kick off middle. It's a squib. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. Fields the squib kick right around the 30. And they're going to have really good starting field position here as that's taken up close to the 40. And San Francisco gets... I think we give away too much there. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Oh, he's got it. Oh, got the wrong player. There we go. We won. Victory for the Vikings. That was very one sided game. I, I really do need to turn up the difficulty. Scores by quarter. Yeah, we had a good game. Our second quarter wasn't as good. Or the third, even. I'm reading the graph right. I don't know. Expect me to read? Read all players. A veteran WR wants to help improve the team. Coach, I know you're frustrated with Immer Smith Marset. Dude couldn't hang on to anything last game, but don't give up on him yet. I think with a little help, he could be really, really good. Is there any specific area you want to improve in? Uh, making out tacklers. I'd like to see him improve the ball in his hand, shake a few tacklers. Maybe some guys miss. Think you can give him some tips? Yes, coach. You definitely can. Juke move. All right. Was this uh, has a strong camp and has continued to build on that preseason? Where has he improved the most? Man coverage. I'm really impressed by his ability to stick with the receivers and man coverage. Even when he allows catches, he's been making that a lot tougher for receivers. Okay. I see how it goes. Alright, who are we up now against? Is the Broncos? The Denver Broncos. Um, we back. Start up the difficulty. Franchise City. We are going from rookie to pro. There we go. I 
Magic uniforms. What are we in? Turned away. Broncos grind. The third and final week of the preseason is here. A fourth exhibition game is a thing of the past. It's the Vikings and the Broncos, and it's coming right up on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us at the foot of the Rockies just west of downtown Denver at Empower Field at Mile High. Tonight, it's a preseason matchup here in Week 3 between the Minnesota Vikings and the Denver Broncos. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis with you. And now we sit, CD, at week three of the preseason. And this is the one that the coaches probably think is pretty valuable, right? Certainly. This is the dress rehearsal. This is the one where your starters are going to play. This is the big you one, Mike. Game plan a little bit more than you do with a normal preseason game. Final game of preseason. Catch, big catch. Ken Adewagu now out of his end zone. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Oh, that was a good. solid run. He's across the 40 to the 43. The Vikings offense coming out for the first time and in his fifth season leading this crew. Coming off his third career Pro Bowl nod, Kirk, Kirk Cousins. Cousins. Not bad for a fourth round draft pick. Well over 100 career starts now. And the chemistry with his top targets, really on point. They spend a lot of time in practice and after practice making sure the routes are run well. And he knows right. exactly where they're going to get the this field. game started. Get open, he delivers. We're going to go for a pass. First play, here's Cousins. It's caught, Smith. Ooh. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play. Just two. Second down. Sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes. Oh, what was that throw? Yeah, not, not super huge. We gotta run this. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack block. We gotta run it, but we can't because we're passing. Alright, alright. 84, be ready. On third down, Cousins. You're not ready. And we lost it. Very on to punt as he gets this one away. Fair catch called for in May, but now we'll have to see about the flag penalty. There's a run past him in. Whoops. Fair catch interference. To Not too close to him. Another example of players in Automatic tough spots getting the protection that they deserve. Got to make sure that he's able to catch the ball before you get to him. What? So first and ten after a big mistake on four. Big down mistake. With Up the middle, it's Williams, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low. Tackle. Get into a ball sometimes. Stack things up and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Out of the gun. Here's Wilson. That's complete. It's Okuebunam. 
What's the one? They need to make one yard. We can't let them uh, run it. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. Oh wait, this is their fourth. Okay, so they're kicking it. They'll send this away into the Rocky Mountain Night, and it's a good one. What am I doing? What am I? The end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. The Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. Uh, they want to see some offense. They want to see some. We need to run it. Whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach. Can you hang in there and not try and force something? There we go. Well played. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. They get 14 there. First down, Vikings. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of job and put the defense back on its heels. Hello, hello, hello. What's all this? How are you, Clara? Are you well? From the 34 now, here's first and 10. All right. Time to throw it. Triangle. Oh, beautiful. What's happening today? You working? A nice job there, quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bang. And a huge spider in your kitchen. No, no. And the quarterback hit him in stride. <laughs> after the catch. How big was the spider? Was it really that big? Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. All right. Now a give running right, it's Cook. And oh, run out of play. A solid run on first right. down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. Wow. Okay, that, that's quite big. Hey, Craig. Triangle, catch it. Yes. But it doesn't matter, he still catches it. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the spider man. The Broncos 14. A really nice gain. That's a massive spider. Sometimes those tip balls turn out to be like a pinball. You can adopt it. All over the place. Everyone's got to go up and get it. In this case, well, we talk about tip drills for defensive players like you. But oh, the, the Broncos coach is not happy. I think they work on it as well. Oftentimes in the Hail Mary right. situations because you're actually counting on a ball being tipped to give you an extra chance to catch it. They use that training well. What are we at? We're 18 yards out. Let's go for a run. First and ten at the fourteen yard line. On the jet sweep, here comes Jefferson. I thought he was coming from a different direction. He did dealt with it with a book. Okay, well there's no adopting it now then. Rest, rest in peace, little spider. Every time on the defensive side of the ball. To throw on catch it. Six. Didn't catch it. It is having issues. What, what is, it? is it more server issues? Is it? I made it. I stepped over the line. Not little, I repeat. Not little. <laughs> not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make I just solve big problems. Books. While this one continues downfield. First and goal from the three. Um. Yeah, hopefully over the weekend we can like uh, reconfine. Yeah, Irv Smith Jr. We got a touchdown. Oh, 
There was no going through the progressions on well the touchdown pass. Yeah, no Coach is happy. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on right. him. The and cook. Score a touchdown. Is it just you having issues, Craig, or is everyone having issues? Oh, Mikey's having issues too. Yeah, I just seen in Discord. Yeah, I must check the Grand Tourism Discord if um any other issues. Push him over. So this uh, has got this like hyper motion technology. I think in this is now as well. That FIFA has so some of the hits are brutal. Who's got the ball? No. You're not getting over the line. There we go. Quarter end. Second quarter about to begin from Denver. It's the Broncos in possession of the football. They need to make two yards. The 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Here's the backup now. The former badge. Push him by. And he stopped Flex. immediately there. No gain that time as it's I am strong. Safety roaming all the way up to the line of scrimmage to make that stop. How about his ability to trust his eyes and figure out it was not a pass play? Clap, clap, clap. Fast towards the line of scrimmage in order to make that tackle. You guys are amazing. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Wilson now to throw on third down. Oh, you got it. No one was covering him. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. As you know, so many things in the passing game are based on yardage. Sometimes it's just based on timing, and that's what we saw right there on that play. Yeah. And three, just get the ball right to the receiver. Is the hitch route? It is what it is. Just take really one step, like you're driving off the line of scrimmage, get the defensive back on. I guess it's a ball, and they do kick it. He does the rest. Now Wilson on first down. That's out to the flat for Gordon. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like. Okay. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40 yard line. Hunter. Oh no. The gun with Gordon. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. That one a first <laughs> Okay, Clark. I didn't know ball had to be right. <laughs> Ship of a pill. True. True. Wait, you play rugby with a American football? Oh, the gap. <laughs> no, I, I don't. I, I've never had to do that. Whatever you're in the car, that's up to you. But uh, it's not me. It's out. These offensive starters still out there in the second quarter. You would think the plans for them to at least play into the third quarter. Alright, everyone's pushing the middle. Run, big guy. Oh, he's not running. No, he, he just died with the ball. Nine to seven, Phillips. The pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but a QB kind of want to run with him. Sense, he? he really does, and I know a defense. At one point was training their quarterback. Time for the offensive. And any time you didn't get rid of the ball within the, the right amount of time, they would blow a horn or blow a whistle to show him this is what that time is. Just what you're talking about, training him to understand. This is the mount you have. Make sure the ball's gone. Number 18. 
Cousins now after the fumble recovery. Press the run button. Ooh, I'm glad they dropped that. Right, let's try again. Oh, beautiful. That was in. Yes. Touchdown. But you can breathe a little easier now. Just increased their lead. Because just yet, yeah, his foot was just in. And it's round ball, volleyball, round ball, golf, ball, round. Football, soccer, round. Handball is round. Bully is round. Bully? Is that the French bowls? But what about a rugby ball? Is that not a ball either? Joseph now to have the PAT. I don't know if Germany play rugby. And it's good to make it like they have a German rugby team. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a American foot egg. Hand egg. Drive that time. Right, 14 0 up. Joseph tees it up to kick off following the <laughs> touchdown. No, run at them. And this will come out to the 25 as Handler elects oh. to return it. A reminder, opening weekend definitely in sight now. Thursday, we, we need the Denver Broncos to paint their end zone orange, please. Thank you. Hosting the team that many think could win the AFC, the Buffalo Bills. Charles and I will be there, and then we got some great American throw egg. <laughs> It's an egg that you throw. Oh, he's got it. And he takes us up to the 40 yard line before being corralled. Good work after the catch gets him 15. All right, leave me alone. You mean the back of the head? I like their countenance. I like the way that they have panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the big stomach. Exactly. And they played football between town and town. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Even regular hockey and cricket balls are right? true. True. Okay, we're no longer calling it a ball. What are we calling it? What's he looking at? For the most part in preseason, you're playing pretty basic stuff, pretty vanilla defenses. You're looking for guys that play with a band. Oh, that might be a penalty. Oh, what are you? What is 64? What are you doing? Yeah, that's a penalty. I took out the uh, thrower. Roughing the passer. Oops. <laughs> Bit late with the tackle. Right, Phillips. You're a big guy. Why do you not stop him? Second and ten. Two minute warning. So we do approach half time. All over them though. Take him down. One guys. Need to work on this defense. Oh no. Oh, great tackle. I don't think we can be too disappointed with that. Yeah, we lost a lot of ground, but at least we didn't lose a touchdown.
This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Oh, this might be it though. Uh, yeah, they they got a lot of space out in the right there. Coach is not happy. He's not happy. Well, our lead's been cut in half. So that drives seven plays in length, and it ends with a Denver touchdown. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Take it in at the three. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 20. That's going to hurt. Minnesota's offense takes I just fell on top of him. There was still more than a minute to go in the half. Body slam. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you. Oh, did I catch that? I don't think I did. No, I did not. Oh. Alright. Gotta run this. Third down. Here's a run by Cook. Oh, I got blocked off from one player. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. I'm going to go for a punt. Now Jordan Berry on to kick this one away. Catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20 yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Broncos that was nice, it didn't tackle him that time. And 10. On first down, Wilson. Flushed out right. And he'll take oh. beyond the line of scrimmage. What was that? Guy slid underneath me. Oh, he got it. I'm out. We can capitalize on him getting the ball, possibly in the open field, and I think in the second half, that may loosen up. Oh no! And he's He got away from me. He's too fast. Missed the tackle, number three should have had him. Ah, uh, block left. I'll give away our big lead. Let's go, Broncos. All right, calm down. I have only two seconds left. 
the half time. There we go. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As now we send you out to the coach is a wee bit happier now. Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. Week three of the preseason is here. Everyone wrapping up their exhibition schedule. No games for the league on Labor Day weekend. And then it all begins. The 17 game regular season gets underway on the Thursday after Labor Day with the NFL kickoff game. Meanwhile, for the Broncos, they too did throw the ball as well as they well, would. That shark completion 100%. would say there's room for improvement in the second half. Both of these coaching staff right. have some big uh, decisions to make coming up as the preseason draws to a close. This second half I think we need to. And to bring it your way, we go outside. Oh my god, to defend those short passes. Okay, coach. Yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Our starters. Oh, what was that? Out there for the third quarter as we get back underway in <laughs> the second half. Well, certainly not what they wanted out of the locker room here as they'll start defensively at the 40 yard line. Well, was awful there as he fails to keep it between the sidelines and that is a penalty every time and going to give this offense better field position and it's every kickoff guy's nightmare isn't it because you don't see yourself doing this <laughs> and most of the time you don't that is not the start to the second half that we wanted oh no this attempt at the tackle Oh, but gone from controlling the game to throwing it away. Oh, there's a flag. Aldi. Accepted. Hey, what does this mean? After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And to no one's surprise here in Denver, that'll carry through the back of the end zone for a touchback. It's the Vikings' turn on offense. We get ready for their first right. possession. Here we go. Offense, we need to bring this back. Feels like we're set up for a good second half. Well, the other side scored. Let's go, guys. To them to answer. How do they respond here with their first drive of the second half? Well, bottom line is they just saw the ball go in the end zone against their defense. Oh, that's awful. That is awful. They've got a good offense as well. From the best plays you've got. Flag, though. Penalty. Uh... Except. So pass interference the call and that does not look to be going over too well on the defensive side or on their sideline because I believe their head coach is saying right now, hey, you got to call that both ways. Cook following the penalty. Oh, went the wrong way. He should have went left. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. I see a shake of the head as he gets up and you got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. All right. Let's go, guys. Square. Cousins to Jefferson on the slam. Nice. Down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time you wait for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. For the pass of the run. I think we go for the run. Through the gap, through the gap. They try again with Cook. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple right. taking it from the five down to the three. <laughs> I have to laugh a little bit because Here we go. Big pressure. I thought with the 
two touchdown passes he's thrown in this one. Yes. Man, it's taken in for a Viking touchdown. Beautifully done. KJ Osborne ready for the regular season with his second touchdown of the game. And the Vikings are an extra point away from evening this one up. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter. Well played. Has him an extra point away from tying things up. And partner, this is pretty much what they envisioned when they were sitting there in the locker room thinking about getting things going to start here in the third quarter. Getting out there, a field goal would have been fine. But going ahead and scoring here, extra point away from tying things up. That's exactly how they drew it up. 21, 21. Joseph connects on the extra point. And we are tied at 21. Back up. Tied. Halfway through the third quarter. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kicks away. Takes it at the seven. Then he'll take it a yard or so past the like guys. And give them 21 yards that time. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really like true. the Broncos uh, kit. That was the case. One play like the orange. The end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure. <laughs> it's just straight in. It's like, no, you're going nowhere. Making the tackle. Charles, we get a look there at the draft class for this offense. What do you make of it? Well, overall, I like the balance of the guys that they selected because, to me, they got a few guys who can step in and play right away, which is exactly what you want. But they also drafted for the future as well. They got some guys who might be nice. on the practice squad, so then we'll find out if they can actually play. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion and would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Wilson, he's got a man. It's Sutton that's complete. No. I'm supposed to watch him. I didn't. Yards off to catch. Look at that run. 58 yard run. Oh. Which is going to be unhappy with this. Got to pull this back. We have a quarter and a half to go. Oh, we didn't get very far. Went Vikings. Let's do this. What is RPO? I have no idea what that means. Uh, run pass options. RPOs are unique because you can either run or pass the ball. Uh, okay. Choose run when running towards the green zone. Choose path when running towards the red zone. Charles's defense. Okay. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because uh -huh. they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive. Good run, good run. They both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? The ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. What do we do now? What do we do? 
We, of course, throw the ball. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. And his uh, throw is incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force try it again. into coverage right there. there were Number 18. Lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Oh. Deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind right. up incomplete. We'll have to run this one. We just saw there, he might not be the guy you want to challenge in coverage on these all important snaps. He certainly looks dialed in right now. I think we made it. A good effort there, nine yards. What? Our foot was over it. As we surmise, Charles, most of the starting units still out there for this third quarter. First time this preseason that they played into the second half. And that's by design. Most of the time, by this point of the preseason, you want them to go into the half, cool down, and then come back down and warm up to start the third quarter like you would a regular season game. That's exactly what they wanted to get done. And now on fourth and one, it's a fake. And he will not even make it back to the line of scrimmage. Oh, he didn't have the ball. Oops. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and ten right at the 50-yard line. From midfield now, here's Wilson. Looking oh. middle, and it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a I think if he had caught that, he would have had me. On point this entire game. He has percentage completion wise way up, not that time. I think this is a free play for Wilson. <laughs> I took out the wrong person. That one to the sideline and a nice catch there. He stays in bounds, but a penalty marker is down as well. Offside. So of course they declined that there. They knew they had the free play. They got great yardage out of it. It's kind of like when we were at dinner last night. You saw me reach for the checks. You ordered dessert on top of it, right? <laughs> you said you had the free play. Yeah. Right? Got Already had what you needed. Go ahead and get a little more on top. I like it. They go play action now. Wilson. Wide open receiver complete. I didn't know what player I was controlling there. Reach the five. That's over we're in trouble here. Last two plays. I tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. There's Wilson to throw. Oh, he's got it. He's got his tight end. He has it. I do not. And now we've gone from 14 nil ahead to 34 21 down. And Charles, they continue to have trouble stopping him as he's into the end zone yet again. I'm going to be two touchdowns behind going into the final quarter. A perfect plan of how to utilize him best when they get in close. McManus's point after is good, and the lead now up to 14. Drive there of just four plays, and it culminates in a touchdown by the Broncos. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Nuwangu now from his end zone. And not a very oh. good return at all as he won't even all get over. this back to the 15. Three quarters in the books. And that'll do it for the end of the third quarter. You're watching preseason football on EA Sports. Look back now to Denver. Here we go. It's the Vikings in possession of the football, but they need some points. They're trailing here to start the fourth. Here's a run on Ooh. first down that doesn't accomplish anything. In fact, he's going to be tackled behind the line for a loss of one. That's not good. You need to pass this out. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and eleven. Pressure's on. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. Oh. It's knocked away and incomplete. It's not good. Smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, You might want to stop coming after me. 
me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Ooh, I caught it. I did a catch it in. Look like I did. No, I didn't. Oh. Didn't make it. I were in trouble. Right on me. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball oh. back and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream right. go just yet. Just need to keep them away from that red line. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. On second and nine. Ripping. Nice. Maybe the turning point. Oh no. And the Vikings are right back. I'd already press square. Because I thought that I needed to tackle. So we just dived on the ground. Like a fool. We got the ball. They turned it over to the offense. They are now in charge. Now they need to execute. This offense back out and set to go their next drive. The interception was a great starting point, but now they need points pretty quickly down two scores. Alright, number two. Number two. Number two. On first down, here's Mon. Steps away. Go on, son. Run it. Yes. Down, Vikings. So that's a really big play here in the fourth quarter, and don't look now, they're right back in this game. Did it feel to you? Scored. Low Andar. That maybe they were a little bit soft in what they were lining up with on defense, almost like they were protecting the lead. There we go. All right, we're back in this. Back in this. It's down to just one score. One touchdown away. Connects on the extra point, and now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One oh. play drive. He's not happy. From that distance, what an effort! It results in the touchdown. Don't kick it too far. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. Ah, uh, we kicked it too far. Well, some might have returned that one. He won't. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start the drive from the 25. And Denver getting set to take the field. I'm curious to see, Charles, about the play calling on this drive. Last time out, the interception that led to a touchdown. Here we are. I mean, very close. One score game. Yeah, and if I'm a defender, I'm actually chirping to you on the other side of the ball. Said, hey. We picked off the last one. What you gonna do about Destroy it? them. So when you do throw the football, high percentage, but throw it with confidence. If there's any hesitancy at all, it could end up in enemy's hands again. On second and nine. That's it. Nicely done. One Robinson. From his outside linebacker spot gets him down there for a loss of four. But he found his way into the backfield and he simply would not be denied. But they say that life's all it's not guy run that is and that holds true when you're playing defense Rah. as well how about him seeing that chance making the most of it that guy lost his head and bringing him it's third and 13 it's good this is good this is third and long I'll throw there but that's going to wind up in go on son critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there that clock keeps rolling has to be a little frustrating for them because they know if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, right. really increases their chances of closing this one. This is it now. We need to return this. We need to get a touchdown. We can still win this game. Catch it. Uh, run it. Run as far as you can run. You didn't run very far, did you? No, he didn't. But it's okay. It's okay. First and ten. And it feels like the momentum has shifted. They scored, then their defense forces that last punt. And what do I want to do here? To tie the game on this possession. Right wide. Now, here's first and ten. From the Square. 
You catch that boy. Ah. Alright, 81, 81. They gave it an effort. Oh. Have to play aggressive. Have to play aggressive. Nice. Oh, did you drop it? How did he drop it? And he didn't quite have the backspin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Here's the Denver offense now. As that was they per. Set to take over here. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Now ripping on first and ten. Escaping the pressure right. Ball hit as he throws there, incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Nice, nice, nice. Down, but this one is incomplete. Another incompletion would certainly be ideal defensively. A big play now. This is third and ten. To throw it is ripping. Well done. He's taken down. Patrick Jones coming in to drop him for a loss of eight. And it also right. up we can still do this. It seemed like he kept going through those progressions, and I thought he might dump that underneath, but he couldn't get rid of the football in time. And I have to wonder if he was thinking while he was back there, I wish there were a lot less progressions on this play, just someone that I can dump the ball to and get it out of my hands. Here's Sam Martin now, as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Taken from just outside the 30. We've got a one Ooh, score game two minute warning. Of two minutes remaining. All right. Put the momentum back. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. He's back to throw. Nice. Let's keep working it down the field. Chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. 23 yards on the play. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for them there, didn't it? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They gotta go thank the guys on D. So from the 39, now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Back to throw. And oh, nearly intercepted. That would have sealed it. Instead, it'll be second down. All right. 82. 82. Second and 10. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Nice. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 18. A gain there of 21 yards. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working. Good catch. Run into space. Openings, take their shots. Make good grind. And what do I want to do this time? Verticals. See, look at 83. Running into the end zone. Let's go for a um, circle. Catch. No, it's overturned. Oh, no. Well, well, that was a bad call. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one's got a bet for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. Denver's offense now set to go. And this game not quite in hand yet. Getting sacked in the morning. Timeouts defensively, and then reassess where we are. They'll start the drive with a run by Gordon. 
Right. Don't know if we have time. We don't have time. There's only 20 seconds left. Yeah, it's all over. And it's over now. Oh. I believe we give up a 14 0 lead. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. Alright, good game though. It's only preseason. Important, but not that important. So, yeah. The uh, Broncos' second quarter was just too good. So, oh well. It's time for the start of the season. Chris Boyd. Upgrade all players. One player was upgraded. Preseason buy. Advance. Sim to mid season. Sim to Super Bowl? No. Just going next week. Here we up at first. Green Bay. Set season goal. Season goal comes with higher rewards, but also higher risk. Uh, we can win all games, win the Super Bowl. No, let's. Should we try get? We. How many games have we got in the season? Eighteen. I reckon we should at least aim for about half. Yeah. Choose draft class. Uh, there we go. Time to hire scouts. Uh, Levi Rice. Oh wait. Northeast, northeast, central, national, west. You can go west. I think they're already all signed anyway. Talk to your player about opening day. You will win this. Every year there's players who ball out in preseason that don't end up doing anything once the actual season starts. I think you're different, but it's time to improve. I've never been more ready coach. I didn't put all this work in just to come up short. I'm here to make plays and help the team win. Thanks both Junior. Here to stay, get two plus combined interceptions and pass deflection with CB Andrew Booth Jr. against the Broncos to continue his breakout. Okay. Opening day keys. Speak to the media. Uh, the opening day this week, a fresh start for every team around the league and you'll be facing the Packers. What's the key to victory? Uh, stifling defense. Dominating offense. I think offense. Ideally we establish a rhythm on offense, dictate the flow of the game and get a big enough lead to make their offense once one dimensional. I can read. Uh, obviously every offense wants to be balanced. What's your main focus? Uh, it's probably the running game. You want to be pound the rock. A solid run game is going to limit the opponent's possessions and the longer we're on offense, the less time they have to score. I get it. Beat the Packers, rush for 150 yards. Focus your offensive game plan on rushing to help achieve your goal. Alright. 
You plan a leak, QB. Uh, facing quarterback like Aaron Rodgers always presents an immense challenge for any defense looking to stop him. What style of play will you give him the most trouble? Uh, unrelenting pressure? I'm guessing. All sorts of pressure. If it's too much time to throw, he'll we'll get torched like everyone else. But if you can apply pressure make him uncomfortable, he's your best chance to slow him down. I agree with that. Just rush him. Your entire defense will have plus five finesse and power moves this week. Woo. Upgrade players. I do this automatically. Yes. Your players are upgraded. And that's us. Ready for the first game of the season. But well, I'm going to end it here. Uh, Thanks again to EA for sending me over the code for the game. And uh, we will be back with some more of this uh, tomorrow. Uh, but I need to go make food and get ready for some F1 racing tonight. So until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll catch you all later. Bye.